and obtain first class, first position in the final exam of Hadith in 1355 Hijri. The teachers at that Madrasa were Al-Lama Khalilullah Rampuri and Al-Lama Wajir Uddin Rampuri. Apart from this, he attained degrees on Tafsir and Tafsir. Study of Ilm al Tarat and Tajweed. Ilm al Tarat and Tajweed is a highly important aspect of religious knowledge. Many people regard this knowledge with negligence. Numerous Islamic scholars who possess profound knowledge in Sharia are incorrect in the Quran. However, Hazrat Al-Ramakul Tawri Sahib Ula gained proficiency in Ilm al Tarat with great importance. He obtained the first sanad in Ilm al Tarat from his peer and Moshid Hazrat. Abu Yusuf Shah Muhammad Yaqub Barakuri Rahmatullahi Alayhi. He studied further in Madurat by the suggestion of his peer and worship from the renowned body of India Subkhan Hazrat Maulana Hafiz Abdul Rauf Kamakuri Shahbazpuri. Hazrat Shahbazpuri was the student of world famous body Hazrat Isus Al Misri. Hazrat Abdul Rauf was from Karampur in Borlekha. Of district of Maulavi Bazar district, and due to this fact, he was known as Karampuri and Shabbat Suri. In 1351, Bangla, with the permission of his worship, he made journey to the Holy Land of Revelation to study and achieve the highest sanad in Ilm al Quran in Tajri. There, he attended the, the service of Rais al Quran Ahmad al Hajjaz. With Allah, he was the most famous body of the whole Muslim world and the chief examiner of the Quran and Imams of Masjid al Haram to study Ilm al Quran. At first, Hazrat Ahmad al Hijazi mildly refused to listen to someone from India as the pronunciation of Indian student is incorrect. However, when he was informed that Allama from Sadi Shahabullah studied under the student, under the student of, of famous Ali Il Khusus al Misri, he started serving as a teacher at Badalpur Ali Madasha in 1946 AD after he had finished his education. He pursued his job there until 1950 A.D. After that, he joined Gasbari al as a, a Muhaddis in 1954. He served there for six years. He was respectively made vice principal and principal within this short period. He then joined Shatpur al and in Isamati al as a Muhaddis and taught Hadith. He at this time successfully taught Bukhari in Nasai ibn Majah al-Qan, Nurul Anwar, Aqaid, Tirmidhi, Abu Dawood, Hidayah, Jalalain, and so on. He used to teach Hadith at Kamil Jamaat in Fultali Aliyah Madasha two days a week until his wafat. He bestowed the certificate of Hadith to, to, to his students in 2006. In his long sphere of teaching, he has illuminated thousands of students by his knowledge. Inauguration of Dawood Iraq. Hazrat Shahabullah returned to Badr Qur Aliyah Madrasha once he was certified in Ilm al Quran by Ahmed Hijaji and resumed his teaching. One day, Maulana Abdul Nur Gal a renowned alim, then paid a visit to him while he was teaching in the class. Shahabullah gleefully welcomed him and asked him to sit by his side. He then resumed teaching the class once his guest was seated. After finishing the class, Shahabullah asked him to tell the reason behind his visit. Abdul Nur Bar Khabuni Rahmatullahi Alayhi said, There is hardly any alim who can recite Holy Quran perfectly, left alone, let alone the general people. So I request you to spare at least one hour a week from your valuable time in teaching Quran. Khuntali Sayyidullah replied, I can hardly leak out from my business because I happen to spend the same time in preparing my class's lecture that I do in the class. Having heard this answer, Abdul Nur Shahab made his leave. Abdul Nur Shahab paid another visit on the next day and made the same request as last as last time. But Ali Sahib replied as he did the previous day. Abdul Nur Shahab emphasized that he was sent to Put Ali Sahib by someone superior. But Ali Sahib then asked if he was if it was his Moshid Hazrat Badar Puri Rahmatullah Alayhi who was sent him. But Abdul Nur replied, No. I have been sent from a much higher place. And then he went on. I have been graced by Muhammad Rasulullah presence in my dream. I heard his very harm, harmonic recitation of Quran while dreaming. I asked him, Ya Rasulullah. 
How can I expertise in reciting what I am this way? He then gestured to his right side while where I found a man standing. And that fortunate person was no one but you. Having heard this, tears rolled down from Sayyidullah's cheek. He immediately hugged him and said, I'll give you I'll give you a word to teach for and every every Thursday after twelve at the mosque that is a short distance from Hazrat Adam Hadi's uh, Majah. Thus Sayyidullah began his service of Allah. He would travel on foot or ride horses to reach long distances in order to give voluntary service to the study of Allah. Wherever he go, he found many enthusiastic ulama kirams who wanted to learn perfect recitation of Quran. Sayyidullah so patiently and repeatedly performed mush. As a result of these sincere efforts, many renowned ulama benefited from his teaching.